the Phillies playing tonight, though, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot better than yesterday. It really does. I mean, we're tracking way better conditions out there. There's still an area of rain that I'm going to walk you through. If you find yourself north and west, that's probably the better shot to see in air, some rain. But right now, if you find yourself Philadelphia, out towards our southeastern neighborhoods, in fact, our immediate suburbs, finally beginning to see that stubborn cloud deck break away. And that'll be the case as the afternoon wears on. We're looking at drier air that's moving in and will eventually settle in as we head towards tonight. Here's the area of rain that I told you about just exiting the Williamsport area and about to enter Mount Pocono region out towards the Lehigh Valley. That's probably as far south as this area of rain will go. So it's just something to keep in mind if you find yourself there right here in Philly, South Philly specifically. We'll be all right tonight. In fact, let's get right into that forecast. By 803 first pitch, temperature is still mild in the low 60s. And notice the icon. We're calling it partly cloudy at first pitch. But as the night wears on, we will see those clouds erode and dissipate. Seventh inning, we're right at 60. And by the ninth inning at game's end, we're talking temperatures hovering either side of 60 under mostly clear skies. And we should enjoy a clear, just a fantastic night for baseball. By tonight, temperatures continue to come down. Clear skies mean we are looking at a low at around 52 degrees. And then during the overnight, we can certainly see areas of fog develop, especially those areas that were hard hit with yesterday's rainfall which equates to South Jersey. They picked up the most rain from yesterday. So those are the areas of concern as far as who's going to see the fog as we head towards tonight. It'll be patchy and it'll be dense. First pitch for games four, five and six. Wednesday, a beautiful day for baseball. We're tracking partly cloudy skies here during the evening hours. Temperatures will be slightly cooler, so it's something to keep in mind. Maybe pack up a light sweater, a jacket if you're heading to the game. On Thursday, we're still looking fantastic. Slightly warmer with temperatures right at 60. And if you by any chance are heading Heading out to Houston on Saturday. The game also takes place at 803. This is down in Houston, and we're looking at temperatures in the middle 60s. But more importantly, it should be dry for game six. So that's good news as far as the weather. Back here at home, it's smooth sailing. We're looking at great weather, but aside from that, a really warm seven days. Take a look at it. By tomorrow, we're in the low 70s. We come down in those numbers Thursday, but take a look at Saturday and Sunday. We may be challenging records on Sunday. Like summer. Thank yeah, you, Larissa. Appreciate it. A record it. that we'd like to yes. challenge, especially in November. Well,